I definitely tell you guys one thing. I will never trust anybody with two first names. What is what this guy thinking, Jake Paul? Who is this man? Why would he even think of snatching the hat off of Floyd Mayweather's head? Listen, you're a young man trying to come up in the sport of boxing, and you're not giving due respect to one of the boxing legends. Listen, I'm a boxing connoisseur. I love the sport of boxing, and I really love what Floyd Mayweather did for the sport of boxing, bringing it back to the art of boxing always making sure that he held that at the forefront of his whole career man he brought defense to boxing he used opponents brute force against them i love what he did man and then you got this young man jake paul like i said don't ever trust anybody with two first names ricky bobby rick james carrot top you can't trust none of those men man i tell you man I, I try to tell you don't trust i always try to tell you guys don't trust nobody with two probably the only person that i will ever trust with two first names is bruce leroy hands down but listen man jake paul out there trying to snatch the hat off of floyd mayweather's head probably just like ended his whole career Man, Floyd Mayweather got money for generations, man. This man owns buildings in New York City. Like, come on. What are you doing? What do you see? Let me know. Some of you young folks out there, let me know in the comments section below. What do you see when you look at Floyd Mayweather? If you could put yourself in the shoes of Jake Paul walking up to Floyd Mayweather, what do you think you're looking at? There's a billionaire, a dude who reached the pinnacle of success in boxing. One of the most grimy sports out of all the sports in history. We know what it takes. We know the politics behind boxing and everything that makes boxing work. It's a grimy business on the back end, at least in my opinion, from what I've seen coming up in boxing. It's a grimy sport. What do you think it takes to get to the top of that sport? Listen, having trolls, Floyd, that's nothing new, except the trolls that normally come after Floyd Mayweather, would, it was done in public right after a fight. People like Larry Merchant trying to troll, like he used to try and troll Floyd Mayweather for years, and you never seen Floyd lose his composure. But after what Jake Paul did to him publicly, snatching the hat off of his head, how dare you, man? How dare you snatch the hat off of a living legend's head? Not to mention he's a billionaire and he's at the like the top, the very top of boxing. Do you think you're going to get another fight? And if you do get a fight, how do you think your boxing career is going to end up snatching the hat off of Floyd Mayweather's head? Floyd was probably most upset because he didn't have a haircut. You know Floyd is always looking crisp, fresh. He's always like trimmed up. You come on, you can't make, you can't snatch the hat off. Of he was wearing a dad's hat, and uh, I'm sure he just went out there real quick to kind of get this like little publicity thing over with. And here goes Jake Paul trying to get a bag off of Floyd Mayweather. Not to mention the high level of disrespect trying to sell those same dad hats, saying I snatched your hat. If you guys didn't see the videos yet, go check them out. He got hemmed up so quick. I, <laughs> I'm i sure he regretted that instantly. Not to mention whatever happens to him. I don't know if anything will happen to him, but you could imagine. I, You take a guess. Like, what do you think would have happened? He, he looked like he regretted it ASAP. I can tell you that much. And that was definitely, in my opinion, I think it was just a stupid move. It's like... Imagine Floyd Mayweather meeting, going like, the, like talking to Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, and he just goes and snatches the hat off of the head. What do you think would have happened to Floyd Mayweather? What do you got? Help me understand. What do you see when you look at Floyd Mayweather? Do you see a billionaire? Do you see a boxing legend? Do you see someone who has reached the pinnacle of success? This man is like one of the most highest paid athletes in history talking about Floyd Mayweather, not to mention his like respect that he holds for the sport, knowing that the business dealings on the back end are super grimy, where a, like an athlete might lose respect for the sport that they're in by learning about the back end business dealings. He still maintained this high level of respect for the art of boxing. And here comes this idiot, Jake Paul. Like I said, don't 
ever trust nobody with two first names unless their name is Bruce Leroy. No Ricky Bobbies, no Rick James, no Caritas, none of them. Don't trust George Bush, nobody. Listen, if the man has two first names, he's probably a Bobby Boucher out there. So you got to pick your fights wisely. I hope uh, Floyd Mayweather handles this well because he publicly he kind of did make some threats that, you know, if something does happen to to um, Ricky Bobby head, uh, you, you know, if Jake. Jake Paul, if something happens to him, then, you know, they, they'd be looking at Floyd Mayweather ASAP. But he got that type of long money that you never know what could happen. You don't know how things will be handled. I can tell you one thing. If you're trying to get a bag off of Floyd Mayweather, that was not the way to do it, Jake Paul had. His parents were hella confused, man. If you name somebody, you can name them two first names, you set them up for failure. And sure enough, you couldn't expect anything less than what Jake Paul did to Floyd Mayweather. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And not to mention, listen, in all seriousness, I really think that there's hella disrespectful what he did. I think um, he could have, it was in bad taste. I think he could have did something way different. He had an opportunity to get close to boxing, a living legend, a living boxing legend. So if you have that opportunity to get close, I think we, this generation needs to kind of, um, just refocus their thoughts on how we approach getting this bag because this generation is like they they're not uh consequential thinkers they don't think of like what happens on the back end they're just thinking of trying to get the bag asap and like all publicity is good publicity whether it's bad or good and in this instance i think this was done in really bad taste i think he kind of ruined his boxing career you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below i would love to hear from you hear your thoughts on this particular topic because it's it was kind of sad to see and it he kind of showed what this generation has to offer and i hate to say it like that i don't think all young people are acting this way but there are idiots out there who are who would really do almost anything for that bag instead of just like holding the utmost respect and just counting your blessings for even being able to be in a position to get that close to someone like floyd mayweather floyd mayweather probably fired his whole team for allowing uh some idiot like jay paul to get close enough to him to snatch his hat off his head and like i say he was probably tight that he didn't even have a fresh cut my man floyd was looking sick out there when they when jake paul snatched his hat off his head and then this man wants to make merchandise is not a good look man it's not a good look for jake paul it's not a good look for any type of those and like those type of antics there just ain't no room where the where like is respect or like all respect down the drain we already know what would happen if you put Jake Paul and Floyd Mayweather in the ring. I think there was a lot of folks out there that were heavily anticipating seeing uh, Floyd Mayweather take a L. His skills far surpassed any opponent he's seen in the ring. And, you know, for someone like Jake Paul to kind of disregard all of that by snatching. Who do you, like I said, who do you see? If that was somebody that you held in high regard, I don't know who someone like Jake Paul holds in high regard, probably uh, probably some type of country singer he holds in high regard. I'm sure he probably wanted to snatch the hat off of his head, but he sure did it to Floyd Mayweather, and I think that was a big mistake. Let me know what you guys think about that. Like I said, don't trust nobody with two first names unless their name is Bruce Leroy. I hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative, and if you did, please consider dropping a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as we intend to have a ton of content coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all.